Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to do a bead pickup with Team Gorgeous. Okay, so first off we're going to start with a really big bead. First of all, I need to saturate my brush in my monomer, lift it out. Now depending on the size of the bead that I want, depends on how much liquid I actually drain out from the brush. I want a big bead on this occasion, so I'm literally just going to wipe the very tip of my brush. I'm then going to place my brush into my powder at a 45 degree angle and I'm going to count one elephant, two elephants, three elephants, four. You can see that as I pick my bead up out of the powder, I've got the orange peel effect. And as I lay it down, clean my brush, it's not too runny and it's not too dry. For a medium sized bead, I'm going to wipe from the middle to the end. Same again, I'm going to place the tip of my brush into my powder at 45 degrees and count one elephant, two elephants, three elephants, four. And we've got a medium sized bead. If we want to do a small bead, we're going to wipe the full length of the bristles and we're going to place in same angle. 45 degrees, one elephant, two elephants, three elephants, four. If you want to go for a really small bead, I'm going to wipe the full length of my bristles twice. One elephant, two elephants, three elephants, four. There you can see that each bead that I've picked up is the right consistency that you need to be working with and they're still pliable. I'm going to do it once more. For a big bead, I'm going to wipe the tip. I'm going to place into my powder one elephant, two elephant, three elephant, four. I've got my orange peel effect. I'm going to place it medium, halfway and wipe and place one elephant, two elephants, three elephants, four, orange peel effect. Small bead, going to wipe right the way through, one elephant, two elephants, three elephants, four. And for a really small bead, I'm going to wipe it twice. One elephant, two elephant, three elephant, four. And there we have it. Same consistency the whole way through and it doesn't matter what size bead I've picked up. As long as I stick to that method, I know that my consistency is gonna run exactly the same throughout every single nail that I do. Okay, I hope you enjoyed watching, hope it helps. Thanks for watching, bye.